Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we're going to learn about the object-oriented programming and inside this is the abstraction. That's the third thing we're going to learn. We already learned about uh, inheritance and polymorphism. So this is the third concept. So what is the abstraction actually means? But before we're going to start, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe and let's get started. So what is the abstraction, right? So abstraction, it is going to be used when we want to hide the functionality. Uh, so basically, like uh, this is the concept where we use the functionality without understanding the backend features. Uh, so for example, uh, when you turn on the car, right? So when you have a key and uh, you turn on that key, so that car start, but you don't know inside what exactly happens, right? So under the hood, you don't know what happens. You know, I don't, I'm not like car uh, expert, but you know, there is a something, you know, ignite and uh, maybe it's reaching to some point and you know, the other methods start and you know, it's gas and fuel and all this thing and then start, but you don't care, right? Just turn on and it's on. So it's the same uh, type of uh, concept is this uh, abstraction. So in that abstraction, there are two things, okay? One is an abstract class, second an interface. So in this video, we're going to focus on abstract class, but we're going to learn uh, what is the difference and what are both are doing. So let me start with the abstract class. So abstract class, so in abstract class, basically, so we use the word abstract, right, before the class. In that class, if we want to uh, basically make a method, it allowed normal method and also it's allowed abstract method. So what is the normal method and what is the abstract method? So normal method is generally is, you know, when we write a code, uh, so there is a method and inside there is a code, right? That's called normal method. What is the abstract method? Abstract method only has a signature. What is a signature? Signature means there is no code, okay? There is empty. So that's method called abstract method. And when we try to implement uh, or like extend other class, we generally use when we inherit it, right? It use the word extends, okay? While we talk about interface, interface not allowing to create any normal method, okay? It's only allow abstract method, right? There is only signature in that. Another thing, when we inherit it, the word for inherited, not going to extend. Instead, over here, we're going to use implements. Another uh, a difference between abstract class and interface, abstract class only inherited or like we can use only once. However, interface can implement multiple class. That's a two difference, okay? So let's get started uh, as a practical and we can have some more idea, okay? So uh, I already created my class. So I'm going to create one more class. And I'm going to, so as I mentioned, we're going to use abstract word over here, abstract class, and I would say class ABC, ABC, okay. And we know how to create a class. Inside, there is a two method. So public void, message okay and system dot out dot print ln this is message and normal method so in here we take a one scenario so let's say there is a company name ABC or something like that. And you know, in the real, real time scenario, there are like a lot of developers uh, are working on a, on a same product, right? But uh, how they're going to divide the work or something like that. So let's say Amit or uh, let's say Tom is working on message feature okay so tom is working on that feature however 
public abstract and email public so okay I'm worried and I would say Sam is working on email feature okay and we don't need this semicolon okay so <clears throat> let's say in real time scenario uh, Tom is working on a, on a message and uh, and a Sam is working on a email features so this is called the normal uh, sorry this is called the normal method and this is called the signature right so it's a abstract method there is no code inside you can see any code no there is no code inside so here what I'm going to do I'm going to say extends ABC and right now it's giving me error because it says hey you need to implement or you know that this method because I never implemented this method so I have to work on this method so I won't forget right so there's another cool feature about that one so as soon as I extend I have to work on that one okay so because over here is not going to allow me so I'm going to copy and here I'm, I have to specify my code I would say I'm going to copy this and now this is not abstract this is now normal method okay over here this is email feature So as we can see, uh, this is the abstract class inside. There is a normal method and uh, there is an abstract method which doesn't have any code or it's only signature. In the second class, I extend my abstract class, right? And inside I specify, you know, or I specify this code in this method, okay? so. And now I'm going to create an object. So abstract abstract. I'm going to copy paste. A equal to new class a dot and I'm going to run a method and I'm going to say email and I'm going to click on a run and it should be running It will, it's going to be print <laughs> this is email features method right so that's printed so that's how that's going to uh, work in an abstract method okay so abstract class you know just a short reminder uh, we use a abstract before the class there are two method allowed normal and uh, abstract method right we use the extend word and it's only allow once okay we cannot uh, user multiple unlike the interface so that's the difference okay hope you like uh, probably understood uh, and if you like my video please share and subscribe and we will see you next video in uh, interface okay bye bye